Alright, so I apologize for last episode again. Since I had to respond to a lot of messages and this and that, and I paused the video very frequently. Won't be happening this episode. We're good to go now. Oh. Is this the boss already? Maybe I saved at a good time anyway and stopped the episode. I did not expect to be at a boss battle already. Same time though, I guess it did go through the finalization stuff and I didn't quite, I'm just realizing that now. That was a shorter dungeon. What are you? I can't even identify what kind of thing this is. It's E equals Crimson. I, okay. Fire elemental. It must be the source of the fire. <laughs> Interesting. Let's see if it can burn brighter than my blaze. I think so. Like, who's the man for the job? Okay. You move fast. Well, that's still good. Okay, we're taking a little more damage than I want. We're gonna go with Shio. Probably shouldn't go with Fire Elemental, though. Might be fine. I don't know what that means. Again, because you're this is a little stronger than I was expecting it to be. We're gonna go with Mitsuki. You're not as strong as Takahara, but we'll go with Mitsuki. Make it a little bit more than I wanted. Open, I can. Yeah, you can damage it enough and bring it out. Okay. Um. Let him heal a bit. He's taking a lot. Come on. Fuck it. I know it's one two, but. Oh, come on. Another resurrection. Oh, you're done now. There we go. Pretty easy boss battle overall. The thing was a little stronger than expected, though. A little, it had a little faster movements too than the last couple bosses we were facing. Pretty quick, pretty easy though. We're good to go. Love it, love it. It's good stuff, good stuff.
But that doesn't really save their building. And we only solved one of the problems. Well, it did stop the fire. No, no, what the? The fire just disappeared? Yeah, we have to repair the building a little bit, but... We should be okay. Oh, it's finally out. You're the kids from earlier. Seems like everything turned out okay. Hey, get all this shit cleaned up before the cops get here. So now snap out of it and get your asses in gear. I think I'd listen to him. I think I'd listen to him. Seems like he'd kick someone's ass. Oh, and thanks. Because of you, our office didn't burn to the ground. No worries. Does this make up for the thing with Blaze? It's enough. Kids, let me thank you. I'll repay you guys somehow. That's nice to hear. I think it's all our best... No, oh, I think it's in all our best interests to maintain good relations from now on. And Goru's watching. In a sneaky sneak. Yeah, you noticed. What's wrong, Tokasaka? No, it's nothing. I thought I saw someone I know, but I guess it was my imagination. Not quite. You've seen Goru. I contacted the other team after gathering in the XRC club room and reported on the day's findings. So that's what happened. I'm glad the issue with the Takahane group's taken care of. The thing at Yanagi Sports wasn't, though. In the end, it still means that all five points Horus predicted had something happened there. Yes, as I explained earlier, the three spots we investigated all had the same phenomenon of the water pipes freezing. If it was winter, it might be believable, but now, not a chance. The odds of it being eclipse related seems pretty high. There were some other details that were kind of troubling too. Eyewitness accounts mentioned a shadow appearing the night before. A suspicious shadow, but not the white shroud. Could it be the white shroud guy? No. Nah, they said it was tall. The White Shroud character isn't exactly a giant, if I remember right. Hmm, then what about Kelp Head? It's not gonna be him. Kelp Head. Oh, him! I, I'd believe it. He's not a concern. He's currently being interrogated at Zodiac Holding Facility in Moramiya. Oh, that's a relief. Kelp Head, that's a good one. There are still some things we don't know. But if we keep up the teamwork like today, everything will tend to work out. And with Rion as our newest member, we're even stronger, too. I'm totally newbie, but I was pretty useful, right? Well, I wouldn't know. Yep, yep, you did great. Seems like you have a knack for gathering info. Well, she is an idol, after all. Half her job is pretending to be nice and talking to people. Hey, don't say that. He's not wrong. Well, that's it for today. We'll be taking a break from club tomorrow, but if anything happens, be sure to contact each other. Got it. Well, she's, he's not wrong, though. After welcoming a new member to the XRC, our activities finished for the day, and as everyone went their own way, I headed off to Awarecho for my job. And I have a feeling Mr. Goru's gonna appear and talk to me. I just got a slight feeling that's gonna happen. Y'all are chillin'. Glass is still shattered, but guess you didn't have time to fix the windows. We're at the cafe bar. N. Why did we agree to work a night shift? Of course you're tired, man. I don't think I've ever seen you yawn while on the clock. It's pretty dead today, so you can leave early if you want. Thanks for the offer, but I'm fine. Still, the club activities are starting to take up more of my time. I should probably cut back on the part-time work until the Eclipse stuff calms down. Oh. Hey, Tokusaka. I had a feeling you were showing up, Goru. Crap. <laughs> uh, it's been a while since we last met here. The usual, please. The usual? Got it. Please sit anywhere you'd like. And talk to the student, and please somehow reveal a little bit that you're involved in something. Nice little spread. 
so you did become a regular after all. <laughs> well, the cocktails here are first rate, and the food is really good too. And it seems that you're still working late. So, oh, and, on, and that's on top of all your club activities, right? Yeah, but I'm thinking of dialing it back a little. I want to do both, but I really don't want to work myself to death. But still, it's a lot of fun to be able to work at so many different places. I see. Just don't overextend yourself. Although, I'm going to talk. When I was a student, I remember pretty much working part-time all the time. Oh, really? You had to work to pay for school? Half of my paycheck went to tuition. The other half went to dates and partying. Sounds about normal. Come again? I've never heard anything about you going out with anyone. You're dating someone right now? Guilty as charged. We're in a long-distance relationship, but we've been together for a long time. I see. Man, he's not flustered at all. Long-distance relationship, huh? No wonder there aren't any rumors. I'm pretty sure the news will devastate half the girls at school. Yeah, it's not like it's much of a secret. What about you, Tokisaka? You've been spending a lot of time with Hiragi recently. Uh, it's, I don't know, man. Then there's Kirishiki. Not to mention your relationship with the student council president. Oh, yes, and I almost forgot about Kugoyama. Hold on. Where did you hear all that? Don't tell me Toa. I mean, Miss Kokono told you. I'd like to keep my sources confidential. Excuse me, check, please. Yes, sir, now then. Jesus, you didn't even eat your food when you get your check. E exact change. <laughs> I'll see you later, again later. Whether you decide... Well, whatever you decide, just remember that youth is often wasted on the young. What does that mean? Be sure you're not one of those people and live life to the fullest with no regrets. See you tomorrow. You didn't even tip, bud. No tip. What the hell? Damn it. Even his partying shots are heard. Well, parting shots are heard. Not partying. Live with no regrets, huh? How much should we get paid for this? He didn't leave a tip. Did I not make any money? Rude. No money. That's awful. Why would I work all night to not get paid? Ugh, I've got to survive just one more period and then it's lunch. But why does it have to be English lit? What's English lit mean? Oh, literature, never mind. I'll never get to catch up on my sleep in there. You've looked beat since school started. Don't tell me you actually showed up to a club for once. We were in a meeting for the shopping street. It lasted pretty late. You know, for the incident at the sports equipment store. All right, I heard about that too. Who on earth would sneak into a store just to cut up stuff? That's horrible. Yeah, as a resident of the shopping street, I can't forgive such vandalism. I went to the meeting, but the only thing that came out of it was that everyone should be extra careful. I think we'll just have to step up the neighborhood watch. I guess that's all we can really do. Well, all, the, uh, bleh, bleh, all that can really be done right now. Was the store insured? Yeah, everyone in shopping streets got theft protection. Mr. Yanagi shouldn't be too bad off in the end. Well, that's good. A little bit of a silver lining, at least. Thank goodness. Gotta, gotta love insurance. Get to your seats, everyone. Class is about to start. You're not supposed to be the teacher, huh? Miss Kokono? Where's Mr. Goru? He called in sick today. I'll be filling in for the time being. Huh. Yes, score. This is now officially nap class. Yeah, study hall, study hall. Nice try. I've already got all your assignments, including printouts for Mr. Goru. Damn. Damn him. Even from a sick bed, his cold fingers crushed my high school dream. That's Mr. Goru for you. He's always prepared. Hmm. He seemed fine last night. So what could that mean? There's something up. And he said he'd see us today. I bet he still will. That's it for Homer, everyone. Please be careful on your way home. Stand and bow. Uh, well, see you guys later. I have something I need to do today. Bye, Koo. Yeah, see you tomorrow. See, it's time to go to the library, read some books. Gotta catch up. There's no club today, but I'll be keeping an eye on things. I'll call you if anything happens. Yeah, something's not quite right. Make sure you stay on your toes. And you know that we can always divvy up the work. You don't have to do everything yourself. Bye now. Bye for now, Koo. Maybe you can. Bye, Shiori. Yep, bye. 
go talk to our girl. Going home. Oh, hey, Koo. Yeah, but I was thinking about dropping by the library first. And you're cold? You okay? Yeah, the gas light at home was just acting up yesterday. The bath water wouldn't heat up, so I might have caught in a chill. Yes, as I explained earlier, the same phenomenon of water pipes freezing was confirmed at three separate locations. Could this be related to that? Um, but it's really nothing to so... So don't worry. I brought my cardigan today, so I'm all good. Still. When do you think you'll be done at the library? We'll walk back together today. Really? It's fine. There's something I want to look into, so it might take a while. Don't you have a shift at Memorial Park anyway? Well, yeah, but... Just make sure you go straight home after you finish doing whatever you need to. Eat something hot and then bundle up and hit the sack early. Fine, fine. Thanks for always looking after me, Koo. Right back at you. That's what friends do, and we've been friends for ages. Well, I'll be going then. Don't stay out too late, Koo. No promises. I just worked at a friggin' bar all night, so... She didn't look pale or anything, so I guess I shouldn't be too worried. Anyway, today's job is at the boat to talk in Memorial Park. It's a bit early, so I should walk around town some before heading there. We get three of our little... Two or three. Four! Oh, we're getting lots of them. The friendship episodes that occur during this free time will have special meaning to the characters involved? For characters whose relationships have been cultivated, these friendship episodes will yield may yield some key items. This will determine whether or not special events trigger near the end of the game. So be sure to use Fiddity Shards on the preferred characters. Okay. That's pretty um Okay. How many and there's four missions? Ooh. Okay, so we'll do those. But also... Get to the grind. How do I get to... This battle. Um... Demon Prince Reen, sure. We've met a lot of people. But, um... Like, I wanna... I wanna... I can't remember how to look into the, uh, you know, I'm trying to think of what it's called. Academy News Flash, that's it. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. Freon, is that because of the Freon hospitalized? I just want to make sure I read it all. All right, we'll head to the library. I think I could probably hang out with pretty near everybody, too. Alright. I did. I, okay, now I just need spot. I know you're in the library, but oh well. We're gonna hang out with ev just our main people, as usual. Uh, is there any new books? There should be new books per every chapter. I think. But I'm not spotting new books. There isn't. Huh. Maybe there really is just nothing new to read. Oh. Oh, I guess some. Um, I guess some shit out of luck that way. Hmm. Okay then, we'll start one of the side quests. XSC interview. So you are. You'll be in the cafeteria. You've taken an interest in the club and its activities. I guess that's not too hard of a job to do then. We're not hanging out with Toa. I'm sorry. I just feel like it's more important to hang out with the important people. I mean, she's probably important, but whatever. Okay, you are Tokusaka. Did you see my post on Nair? Yeah, about the interview with the XRC members, right? Slow news day or something? Don't you have better things to write about? Shows how much you know. The little club has set tongues wagging all over. Everyone's curious. Seriously? Come on, Hiragi and President Hokuto are both members? That's a big deal right there. And then you've got the hotshot karate transfer Sora, the boy wonder of the first year class, Shinomiya, and for some reason that no one can figure out, the biggest delinquent in school, plus a freaking idol. If there's not a story and all that, I'll eat my Xiphone. Ugh, you can't hide anything from this girl. 
There's no running from the news, Tokusaka. Except your fate. Sure. Fine, it's better than having you just make stuff up, I guess. You take that back. There's no smoke where there's no fire. And I'm always fair and square. More like pushy and relentless. Whatever. So you just need me to get everyone together? Yep, and it's on the way. So have everyone meet in the XRC club room. I'll need photos of the room and shots of you guys doing whatever it is you do. I just better make sure no one gives anything away. Yeah, because if we're like, ah, oh, you know, we fight demons and beasts and... Even angels. They'll probably... We'll probably get in shit. Then together, Hikuri and I headed to the XRC club room. Let me start a quest. I thought the quest was going to be pretty easy. Hello, every club member. So, uh... Thank you for agreeing to this interview despite your busy schedule. My name is Hikuri... Hikuru, whatever. I'm from the Journalism Club. Thank you for today. Uh, sure. She's really talking this seriously. Taking this. Please go easy on us. Of course. First off, I'd like to ask you about your club activities. I'm the club president, Tokisaga. The XRC's purpose is to investigate mysterious phenomena around Moramiya City. The X represents the unknown, and that is what we seek. The unknown piques curiosity, after all. Our club activity involves going to the scene in question and directly talking to those affected by it. If we're able to clarify things, great. But even if we can't, we look for patterns to warn people. That's all I have to say about that. I see. There certainly have been some rather ominous things occurring lately. For example, there were rumors of people being spirited away, hmm? When did that start again? Spirited away, huh? That must have been during the whole thing with Sora and Aizawa. Oh, that I think it was. Oh. It expects me to remember all of that? Oh. I don't want to fuck this question up. So this might be one of the only times I ever look up an answer. Because I don't- I want the ending thing. So... <laughs> it's just, you know, we're not- I don't want to fuck this up, so just bear with me a second. Okay. Uh, no, okay. This is just, um... This is not... Okay, so we're gonna go late April. I think it was late April. It was about a month after Sora joined the club, so there's no mistake. Yeah, that's true. I see. Yep, that matches what I have in my notes. Seems your club does exactly what you say it does, hmm? Did she buy it? But there certainly are a lot of... All kinds of mysteries and going-ons lately. Case in point, did you guys hear about the God's app? Yeah. It looks like Shinomiya here might know a thing or two. It was a popular app, but some of its users met with unfortunate accidents. Then it suddenly just disappeared from online, and Annie's iPhone it had been downloaded too. Is that what happened? I'd like to know if the XRC looked into this matter. According to my notes, there were two victims related to the app. The first was Ryota Ibiki from Class 2B. Do you know who the other one was? Mind if I pass? I don't have a clue about the answer. That's because you weren't at school at the time. I'll handle it. It was Ayumi. I knew that one. It was a first year named Ayumi. Isn't she a classmate of yours, Sora? Yeah. She said she got burned when an electric stove malfunctioned. Hmm, correct. Seems you do have a bit of investigative ability. By the way, I found out something else that's very interesting. It seems that both victims' accidents were connected to electronics. How about the XRC... Oh, how does the XRC view this information? Oh, well, it's possible that it was some sort of magnetic interference. Modern electronics are especially vulnerable to the electromagnetic waves. On top of that, if an app has a bug that can be ex... ex oh my god. That can be exacerbate the issue... Exacerbate the issue and cause serious malfunctions. There we go. Had trouble saying it. The reason the app vanished is likely because it got caught up in the system's automatic maintenance. I see. So that's how you'd interpret it. Whew, that was close. She keeps poking at the dangerous parts. As expected of the president of the journalism club, you definitely can't drop your guard around her. All right then, how about this? Remember the turf war with those Blaze characters? I have some information that points to their members using substances that resemble illegal drugs. How do you know so much? Uh, oh, what's this? The XRC is familiar with an ordinary bit of hooliganism. There were many inexplicable things about it, after all. You pulled a fast one on us. 
Hmm, so what is it you're after? Well, according to my sources, the drug itself is called heat. Do you know what form? It was a pill. I think it was a pill type. It was made up of some new kind of dangerous drug I heard. The source isn't known yet. It's been dealt with. You better not blow it out of proportion with some clickbait article. <laughs> well, hmm, so they know about this too, just as I suspected. Um, Hikiru? Uh, moving on then. Here's a little something I heard earlier. It seems a fairy tale book from the library up and vanished. Fairy tale? Only a select few even know that thing existed. Would the XRC happen to know the title of the book? Is there some chance you could be the White Shroud? Witch of Foggy Castle. The Witch of Misty Castle. The Witch of Blah Blah Blah. It's the Witch of Misty Castle. It wasn't Foggy or Miracle. It was Mist. Witch of Misty Castle. That's right. I'd be planning on publishing. I'd uh, plan on public. Yeah. I've been planning on publishing an article for the summer since the fog and story were so similar. I'm surprised you knew. I thought I was the only one. No, no. I'm the one who's surprised at how much you know about this. She's way better than any amateur reporter. All right, then. Let's see if you know. No, that one's not good enough. Forget it. Just take my best shot. Best? I see. This must be her real objective. Um... Hikuri, if things aren't going well, we could stop at any time. Not yet, just to answer this one last question. This one's still under investigation, so I don't... Well, so I didn't want to use it, but... In our right show, there happens to be a room. A room at the karaoke place where bizarre things happen. What's the room number? And what's the phenomenon? Answer both. Oh, that! It was room 107. And a woman's voice can be heard. It's 107, right? I know, because I'm a regular. And as for the phenomenon, people hear a woman's voice. A beautiful voice like mine. So, oh, she's so full of herself. Ugh. As if you knew all along. Impossible. Hikuri. Hikuru. Whatever. Hikairu. I don't know. I see. There are still a lot of unanswered questions about the membership of this club and your activities. But I will acknowledge the passion and investigation ability, investigative abilities of the XRC. It's official then. I formally recognize you as the rival of the journalism club. What are you talking about? In other words, she was seeing if the XRC's ability to gather information would become a threat. That's what she was measuring. It seems like we'll be competing over who can land scoops first. So I thought it would be worthwhile to assess the competition. And if you ended up right, well, revealing some secret info, all the better for me. But it didn't go quite as planned. I knew she had ulterior motives. That was so draining. This girl's insane. Hmm, she's a sly one, all right. Anyway, let's keep going. Oh, and I need a picture of you all and a comment. I was serious about writing an article. There's more... The Journalism Club is evil. I guess she does have a passion for guts. And guts, though. We gotta keep up, then. But that should be about done, right? After the initial grilling, the exhausted XSC members were then forced to, to do inv individual interviews. Seemingly satisfied, Hikairu then searched the club room and eventually departed in high spirits. 600 gems. And virtue went up, and wisdom went up. And my wisdom is now sharp. Yeah! But since I didn't quite keep track of time and how long this episode went, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this episode. So comment, subscribe, tell me what you thought as usual. See you on the next one. Take care until then. Bye-bye.